Let me, let me sink that into you again. Let's forget the fish. Your genius, God's genius in you, excels in adverse environments. You were created for an adverse environment. You were not created for comfortability. You were not created for the same old, same old. You were not created for boredom. You were created to be pregnant with expectation, to be on the radical edge of a miracle. You were created to pull principalities and powers down. You were created to destined to soar into the heavenlies. You were created to hear voice say, come up here and let me show you. You were created to stand on the fault line of revelation and to be shaken by the very powers of the world that is to come. You were created for adventure. You were created for meaning. But we don't want to get in the water. I just think I'll flop on the bank here. You flop on the bank long enough, somebody will have you over their fireplace and you'll have a... You'll be a monument to what you used to be. You'll get caught and stuffed. So as I'm watching on Skype or, or, the, or, or, the, or the internet, the still had come up and I'm watching the beauty. I thought, oh my goodness, they're never so beautiful when they're in an adverse environment. And the Lord said to me, adversity that has come upon the church, that's come upon the nation is to manifest the genius of my people. Oh, this is just for me, I know, but I am so excited that trouble's in the land. I am so, I'm, I've been so bored. I'm not excited that people are losing money. I'm not excited that people are dying, but I'm excited that something is happening because I am sick of the same old, same old. I have a genius somewhere in me and I can't find it until adverse situations are in front of me. I'm a Joseph. And as long as I live in the cell with a butler and a baker and run the church and prophesy, that's fine, that's wonderful. But I'm looking for a, a, a Pharaoh whose heart is troubled, a call at a higher level that will bring me out of the season that I'm in and bring me to a new season and God's genius will be expressed in me. God will use me. I live for that. I don't want to die in the prison. Well, Joseph was wonderful. He was a faithful. He was faithful. Didn't have a very big church. Had a butler and a baker in his church. Had two of them. But boy, he's persevered to the end. Well, I don't want to hear that about Larry. Well, he, he worked real hard. He didn't do very much, but uh, the poor guy died. He was a, he was a real trooper, he was. <laughs> I want to go where no man has gone before. I want, to go, I want to do something everybody in my school, everybody in my town, everybody in my family, everybody thought I couldn't do. I want to fool everybody. I want to surprise everybody. Why? Not because I'm that great, because the genius lives in me and his genius is expressed in times of adversity because adversity and difficult times is the mother of invention. It is the difficult times that will bring forth the entrepreneurs in the church, bring forth the visionaries in the church and the warriors in the church. Listen, all that is happening is happening. Don't get caught up in the fight of is it God or is it not? Get caught up in building up yourself in the Holy Ghost and get ready for the fight of your life. Get ready to go out to war. Get ready to take back what the enemy has taken from this nation. Get ready to begin to declare the righteousness of God.